Hi, I'm Rami Al Ali. Welcome to my show in Paris. This collection actually um, it was inspired by the glam uh, of the 60s. Um, you know, there is a certain style in the 60s was very timeless. Um, it's uh, very modern and relevant to today's day. Still, like the this kind of reference, um, it, it still works beautifully and perfectly, uh, even for client looking uh, to look elegant today. Uh, the color references, we took it from, you know, all Matisse painting, those block colors, those contrasts that they, you know, they, they, they have this bold presence, but at the same time, very feminine, very delicate. I think when you see it, you will you will understand more when, them, when they're on the models. I've been trying to use the feather to get a complete different result from the one that, you know, we have explored before. This time I wanted to use it to create something like a, a print that has a movement so it looked like a 3d effect over a layer of the fabrics stylist wanted um, the hairstyle a little bit rockabilly rockabilly style but uh, uh, well done like a couture so we made a combination between lots of volume on the on the t top of the head and then a, a nice little updo in the neck, but not really, not too clean, like a little bit messy to make it really fashionable. Yes, that, that, that's what we basically did, yeah. Hi, my name is Nia Gapel. We're at Paris Fashion Week, backstage at Ram Al Ali. So this is actually the opening look, um, and I absolutely love it. It's very fairy tale like you know what I mean? It's, it looks like a dream. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bijou et je suis à la Paris Fashion Week. Des bisous. À moi, je me sens trop belle et je suis trop contente d'être là, de pouvoir faire ce défilé. Et, euh, on va en mettre plein la vue, quoi. Hi, my name is Yudriel. This is Paris Fashion Week. Feeling so happy, actually, it's so beautiful and gorgeous. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. Well, the inspiration was basically to keep the girls very sexy and very uh, modern with a kind of a, a pointing a little bit into, into the new generations who likes, you know, the, the eye and the eyeliner kind of game. But at the same time, they wanted to play in the classic inspiration of the 60s. So that, that combination gave us that kind of uh, eloquency between what the new generations want, but also what the classic is asking for, the, for to be reinterpreted. The Hi backstage. backstage! I'm Eva. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good and I'm really happy to be here with our short uh, dress. Yeah, we have, we're really excited because we are not scared of tripping on the runway like the other girls with the long dresses. <laughs> so we've got an easy job today. But yeah, they're really beautiful. Yeah, really cool too. Yeah, see, uh, the makeup's really strong. Yeah. I think it's modern, but also has the 60s influence, like from the dresses. So yeah, I was really excited yeah. to see it. Hi backstage. Wear this dress, where would you go? to the Met Gala. That's what I was going to say. It's amazing. I love working with Rami. He makes so pretty outfits all the time. And I love this dress. And I'm so happy to be closing the show. I feel like a little present. A little surprise. I'm really happy to be here because I was dressed in Rami Al Ali for the Festival de Cannes. I love this look. She looks so gorgeous. Absolutely, one of my favorite Middle Eastern designers. Love wearing them. Um, and I'm really, I'm, I'm excited to see what they're going to have fun with and what they're going to treat us with today. I love how wearable his creations are, super extravagant, but also modest at the same time and perfectly representable of the Middle Eastern woman. I 
I feel, I love couture, but I'm always, at the last day, you feel like the energy is already getting a little lower. But I'm very excited to see the show. I love haute couture, so I'm hoping to see um, some big gowns, some colorful gowns, maybe some feathers, some sparkles.